An American Affair is a low-life political thriller about one of President John F. Kennedy's mistresses and a young teenager who unwillingly get involved in the plot to assassinate the president. The story opens at 13-year-old Adam Stafford's Catholic school in 1963, where he gets involved in a melee among some boys. Later Adam gets out a playboy and abuses himself. Shortly thereafter, he spies the new neighbor across the street through her bedroom window, where she is lounging naked with some man, who is hidden from view. Adam steams open her mail and learns that the woman is Catherine Caswell. She catches him at her door after he replaces her mail. Adam tells her that he's looking for some work to earn some money, so she hires him to help redo her garden. He learns one night that she is one of President Kennedy's mistresses. Also, while secretly following her one day, he sees her meet a mysterious man named Lucian Carver, who works with her ex-husband at the CIA. Suddenly, Adam finds himself at the center of a CIA plot to assassinate the president. Of course, evidence now shows that, as Jacqueline Kennedy put it, a dirty little communist killed her husband. There was no CIA plot to murder Kennedy, no plot by anti-Castro patriots from Cuba, and no mob pit. Aside from its leftist politics, an American Affair is another in an ever-growing list of artsy movies from Hollywood engaging in simulated pedophilia. At one point, the older woman starts kissing the 13-year-old boy but pulls away when she realizes what she's doing. This fits in with the movie's references to Playboy, which started this abhorrent era of sexually abusing children. The mystique of John F. Kennedy and his many extramarital affairs seem to be part of the Playboy era of the late 1950 and early 1960 that eventually corrupted the media and corrupted America and its youths. Ultimately, this too became part of the left's attack on the Protestant work ethic. the institution of marriage and family, and the biblical values that made America great. The neo-Marxist fascists leading the protest movement during the late 60s and early 70s picked up this attack, adopting psychological terms to disarm and demonize their opponents. In that light, it is interesting to note President Barack Obama's link to these Marxist radicals in the form of his intimate relationships with people like the neo-Marxist terrorist Bill Ayers, neo-Marxist Black Power. Obama's recently announced social policies are part of this continuing attack on Christian America and its traditional values. Obama and his buddies have destroyed the black churches and racially mixed churches. Now, they are working on destroying Hispanic churches and white churches. Of course, if you express harsh criticism of Obama and his buddies, you probably will be called a racist and a homophobic. Guard your children and grandchildren from these antichrists and their perversion of American ideals.
what you need to know. One night in 1963, 13-year-old Adam Stafford spies the neighbor across the street through her bedroom window, where she is lounging naked. Adam wants to know more about this intriguing sex goddess. He maneuvers her into hiring him to redo her garden. Adam learns that she is one of President Kennedy's mistresses. Also, while secretly following her, he sees her meet a mysterious man named Lucian Carver, who works with her ex-husband at the CIA. Suddenly, Adam finds himself at the center of a CIA plot to assassinate Kennedy. Aside from its leftist politics falsely implicating the CIA in Kennedy's murder, an American Affair is another in an ever-growing list of artsy movies from Hollywood engaging in simulated pedophilia. At one point, the older woman starts kissing the 13-year-old boy, but stops when she realizes what she's doing. This fits in with the movie's references to Playboy, which started this abhorrent era of sexually abusing children.